All right, guys, today we're gonna review the four inch radius arm BDS lift kit on our 17 F250. Let's go over the parts that are included in this kit. You're gonna get the lift springs, the front shocks. The standard kit comes with the NX2 shocks. We opted for the Fox upgrade. You're gonna get the drop brackets for the sway bar, the drop brackets for the brake lines, the radius arms, the rear blocks, the U-bolts to mount the rear blocks, and rear shocks. And again, those have an NX option. We went with the Fox upgrade. This is gonna be a complete package that's gonna give you everything you want to lift your truck, including a upgraded steering stabilizer. We're running an Open Country 37 125020, and we have no rubbing. We even run fender flares, it still doesn't rub. If you're running a factory bumper, depending on your offset of your wheels, if you are gonna run 37s, you may have to trim at the front valance. So on this truck, we started out with a puck style leveling kit at two and a half inches. We ran a 35 12 50, 20, which is only a half inch taller than the stock tire. Gave it a more aggressive look, but didn't give us clearance for the 37s like we wanted. As you can see, the truck sits really level. It may sit a touch higher in the back, but that's perfect for towing or loading down the bed with different gear. It doesn't ride much different than stock. It's a little bit stiffer than our stock ride. Part of that's probably because we are running such a big tire. But as far as going down the highway in this, it's smooth as can be. It's really nice for a daily driver. And we've got 25,000 miles in this truck and I drive it almost every day. When it comes to towing upgrades, it's gonna squat a little bit when I put the toy hauler on there or something that's got some weight to it, just like factory. You know, we've got a factory leaf spring in here. We've got a rear block that's lifting it and the shock back there is gonna make it ride better but not gonna affect towing a whole lot. I've towed a boat, toy hauler, tractor, some of that stuff, and it tows just fine. Very, very similar to stock. When we had the rooftop tent and the rack on here, we had the airlift system. So we went to our Utah trip, that's how we had the truck set up. So you may even see in the video that the truck sits a little higher in the rear when we were on the Utah trip, and that's because it had the airbag system in it. When we took that out, it sits a little more level, it rides a lot better, and I do sacrifice when I put the toy hauler on here, it does sag the back down. That's the one time I wish I had those airbags, but it's not worth it to me to lose that daily ride quality and the overall off-road ability of the rear suspension. One negative thing that I have with this suspension would be high-speed washboard roads. And I think that's probably any Super Duty. It just has to do with the weight. If you went to a coilover system, they might eat those bumps up a little bit better. But this, you've really got to take those slow. I'm at 10 or 15 miles an hour on those washboard roads, and it's beating you up pretty good. But I don't really fault the suspension for that. I think it's the fact that the truck weighs so much. Our lighter F-150s, we can fly down those roads at 50 or 60, and the coilovers really eat up those bumps. If you own one of these trucks, you know they come from the factory at a good height. These are a big truck. We've got the amp steps, which is nice to help you get into these, but my goal with the lift kit is to get the smallest lift that will allow me to clear the 37s. So this still has a real aggressive look without having terrible angles to it or sitting too high or just being a pain to get in and out of. You can see that this is very usable for daily driver. For contractors or one of those guys that wants a truck to look nice, but they're in and out of it 10 times a day, this is a good size. This goes on the highway, straight as can be, nice ride. I mean, the only issue you're gonna have is making sure the 37s are balanced, but this rides like factory at 75 miles an hour. Overall, the BDS four inch suspension is exactly what I was looking for. It allows me to clear 37s and keep a great comfortable daily driver. Make sure to hit subscribe down below to follow along with this build or any of our other projects going on here at Stage 3 Motorsports.